In this video, we'll talk about data modeling. So this video and the upcoming video are going to be a general review on how to create your ERD, including the rules, including some examples on how to extract the requirements from a paragraph. And then we'll see how to extract the requirements from a transaction or a receipt. So let's start by reviewing the ERD rules. So for every entity, relationship, and attribute, these must have names. An entity name is a noun or a noun phrase like employee, for example. A relationship is a transitive verb phrase like assigned to. Each entity can appear only once in the diagram, so you cannot repeat the same entity name. Each entity must be connected to one or more relationships, so we cannot have an entity that is floating in the ERD. Each attribute must be connected to an entity or relationship, so our attributes cannot just be there again. It has to be related to either an entity or an attribute, or I mean, uh, or a relationship. And attribute names cannot be repeated within the same entity. Each relationship must be connected to one or more entities, so we cannot have a, a relationship line that is not connected to anything. Now, how to model the data? To model the ERD, we need to identify the major entities. We need to identify attributes for each entity. Identify the relationships. Determine the cardinalities, minimum and maximum. And then we usually start with drawing an ERD draft and then refine that. You can jump ahead to drawing the full ERD, but it's a good practice to draw a draft and then revise the draft once or twice or even three times until you get to the final ERD. When we are reviewing for refining the ERD, we review for cardinalities, we review for subtype and supertype, we review for the constraint, and then we also do some overall checking. The techniques for data modeling are two techniques or two approaches. The first one is sentence analysis, which is to extract the business rules and entities, attributes, and relationships from some kind of a paragraph or a list of sentences. And the other type is document analysis, where we review the transactions and reports, and then extract entities, attributes, and relationships from these. We'll start by talking about sentence analysis. So for this type of problem, given a problem statement or some set of business rules, we need to extract the required information to develop the data model. So in every sentence, we need to identify subjects, objects, and verb phrases. Because subjects and objects are going to be our entities. Verb phrases are going to be the relationships and the relationship descriptor from subjects to objects. And a single value fact about an entity is going to be an attribute, sometimes with a verb phrase. And this is going to be explaining the meaning of that attribute. So let's look at an example and let's try to extract entities, relationships, and attributes. And I'm, I'm going to be using color codes for entities, relationships, and attributes. As you can see, entities are, are going to be highlighted in red. Relationships are going to be highlighted in blue. And finally, attributes are going to be highlighted in green. As you will see in the first slide, I'm not highlighting anything, but we are just going to read this statement. So we have the following sentences. Salespeople are assigned to customers. Customers place orders. Salespeople are giving credit for orders. Salespeople are identified by employee number. Each salesperson has a commission rate. Each salesperson has a phone number. Each customer has a unique uh, customer ID, name, address, and phone number. And finally, orders are identified by order number. Now, based on those sentences, we need to extract the entities, 
attributes and relationships and as we said we will look for subjects and objects because these are going to model our entities verb phrases are going to be our relationships and whenever we see a single valued fact about an entity this is an attribute and the verb phrase that's following it is explaining the meaning of that attribute now if we look at this the subjects and objects we have here are sales people customers and orders and assigned to in the first sentence is a relationship we can look at place in the second sentence which is another relationship and in the third sentence when we said uh, salespeople are giving credit for orders giving credit is also a relationship and then single facts like sales uh, each salesperson has a commission rate or sales people are identified by employee number so employee number in this case or commission rate and these um, things like this are single facts related to those entities so these are going to be our attributes extracting all of the entities and attributes from this example will give us this color coded set of sentences so I know I highlighted everything more than once but then again each entity is going to appear only once so I, although I highlighted customers about three times I highlighted sales people more than three times which is about five times each one of those is going to appear only once I highlighted everyone in every sentence just to relate this to whatever I have in terms of relationships and attributes now I have all my attributes and relationships I need to draw my ERD based on that so this is going to be my ERD I can draw a draft and then refine it but um, this is a draft because it does not have any cardinalities so um, what I have is salesperson because remember we usually make the entity name as a singular noun customer is a singular noun as well and order is a singular noun I also had names for relationships but as I said I don't have the cardinalities here as this is a draft that needs to be refined I will leave refining this to you and you can refine it by apply uh, checking for cardinalities and then applying those on now keep in mind that a real life example will have more data to model and this is just a simple example to get things going as I said this is a draft that needs to be refined and I will leave this for you as a practice